Mr. Suzuki, you have three main points to make about uh, Irish workers in factories. What what are they briefly? Uh, well, first is the uh, the the the, la uh, the length of service that they usually work for the company, and uh, the second would be uh, they're conscious about their wastage, and the third would be the uh, the attitude to supervise. Yes. The workers. Well, now take the first one first. Well, How long they stay with the company after they're trained? Well, in Japan, uh, we have a uh, uh, little bit of uh, a peculiar social condition. When anybody is employed by a company, well, they usually stay with the company until the company sacks them or they feel they, uh, they have done enough for the company. And this is in Japan? In Japan. Now we found uh, in Ireland, uh, well, we put in money and energy to train the workers and uh, when we felt, well, this is about time we get the return, well, we usually lose the workers. Now that we don't have in Japan. Mm. Well, now, isn't this a normal commercial risk that you take, in a way? They go off for better wages, perhaps? Uh, well, it is the uh, commercial risk, all right, but the, uh, the risks involved in Japan and in Ireland is different. In Japan, the risk would be less. In Ireland, the risk is too great. Uh, do you know anything about the experience of your corporation or other Japanese corporations outside Japan in regard to this question of how long workers stay after their train? Uh, well, honestly, I don't have any other experience besides being in Shannon. And I heard a lot of comments about the, uh, our subsidiary in Hong Kong and also uh, in America or in Sony, uh, Switzerland. But they, they seem to have a, a little or less uh, the same problem, but not to the extent that we are experiencing in Ireland at the moment. Yes. How do your wages and conditions compare with the wages and conditions where your workers go? Presumably to Britain, I suppose, most of them. Uh, well, of course, in comparison with the wages paid in Britain would be uh, uh, quite... Uh, improper to, to compare and but but I can say that our wages here are well over and above the rates agreed upon by the union and the the, uh, the employers in the same industry. Yes. Do you find that the ability of Japanese workers to stay with the company after they've been trained for a reasonable length of time do you find that this um, is a, is a good thing without anything wrong with it at all. Do you not find that perhaps they are a bit subservient? Uh, too subservient? Well, that's a pretty difficult uh, question to answer. Uh, I personally think, well, the person should have more freedom. But in Japan, that freedom is not uh, made available to normal workers. Uh, the reason is that, uh, well, most of the people in Japan uh, would know that the money and the time that the company spent to train them to be a good worker in that particular company. And uh, so they, when they, the training is finished, well, they, they feel a little bit of obligation to company to pay whatever they owe to the company. And, uh, well, unless they do something drastic or they know that they can do a big increase in their earnings, well, not very many people will leave the company. And that usually takes about three to four years. It is a sense of obligation, then. It, it's not in any, in any way, you think, um, feeling that um, they must do what they're told. No. Or they're used to being pushed around. Well, that I don't know. Uh, well, I think the, uh, in Japan, well, there are uh, uh, an employment problem. So that means that not very many people have freedom and the pleasure of moving around from one company to the other. Yes. Now, uh, in this country, you have the same unemployment problem. But uh, here, the people working in this country have the uh, opportunity of going abroad yes. without any government restrictions, which we have in Japan. Yes. What about the second problem, Mr. Suzuki, the, the one of wastage? Uh, well, that problem is, well, of course, uh, it depends on the, uh, the social condition, I suppose. Uh, in Japan, well, every Japanese so, uh, would try to save as much as they can. If they have anything to waste, well, they they try to uh, salvage whatever they can. But here, probably you have more uh, food and more clothing and everything than the Japanese, so maybe you're not so keen in salvaging anything from the waste. And, uh, well, as a result, as I see it here, well, 
not very many workers think too much about the, the value of the components that they handle. And they sometimes throw these components to some of the uh, workers on the same line or other line to attract their attention. Well, we don't do that in Japan. You mentioned also um, their attitude towards supervision, the attitude of the supervisors towards the workers. What, what is um, peculiar about this in your view? Uh, well, for instance, so, uh, over here, well, I think the supervisors are a little bit too gentle to their workers. Uh, they're a little bit afraid of uh, telling the workers what to do uh, and uh, what to improve. Well, in Japan, no supervisors will be afraid of their workers. They, their main interest is to get the job done. If the job has to be done, well, they take very active action to get the workers to do the work. But here, we find that most supervisors have the feeling that, oh, well, they got to wait until the workers develop. But in Japan, we make the workers develop. And you can have this somewhat stricter control even with um, strong trade union organization oh, in yes. Japan. Oh, yes. Yeah. The trade unions do accept this um, particular attitude towards Oh, yes. The labor union's attitude in Japan is that, uh, well, unless they are the employee of the company, he is not the member of the union. So the first comes the, the employment. If they are the employee of the company, well, they are the members of the union. So, as long as the union, of course, is interested to see that this employee will stay with the company as the employee of the company. So their uh, attitude is that, well, as long as the employee stays with the company, well, the company has the rights to train them in the way the company wants. Mr. Suzuki, your experience in relation to workers in this regard seems to be anyway on the surface different from that of a great many other people. Irish workers and Irish labour have been praised a lot, in mm -hmm. fact, by uh, people coming in setting up factories from outside Ireland. Mm -hmm. um, does this not strike you as, as peculiar, that your experience is uh, perhaps rare in this regard? No, I don't think so. Uh, whatever I said uh, about the Irish workers so, uh, is not to indicate that Irish workers are no good. They are very good workers if they want to be. Now, the problem is that our, it's our hard job to see that they want to be a good worker. And uh, we've been, uh, we feel that we have to spend more time and energy to keep the workers good workers. And in Japan, well, we feel it's less effort on our part to make the workers to be a good worker.